Welcome, welcome, welcome. The date is July 3rd, 2020. This is the Jenkins Pipeline Authoring SIG meeting. This is our regular uh, Friday meeting. We did not meet last week, and I forget why, but oh well, here we are. My name is Marky Jackson. I would like to remind everybody that we do have a Jenkins Code of Conduct, which recently has been updated. And uh, we uh, basically amounts to just be nice to one another. We don't want to have to kick anyone out. Uh, I am going to share, oh no, don't do that now. Let's see if it lets me do it. No. I cannot share my screen because I updated Zoom this morning and now I have to log out, which would kick me out. So I will not share my screen, unfortunately, but I will read out the items that we are addressing today. And uh, it, I will put a lazy link. Oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart. If everybody could just sign into the attendees list for the 3rd of July, I will put a lazy link to the doc in our Zoom chat. And we will go ahead and get started. Open items from last meeting is none because we did not have a meeting last weekend. Uh, the first item up for discussion is we are talking, uh, there will be a pipeline is YAML meetup by, uh, I would talk in a, I'm messing that name up. So I apologize if you're watching this recording and uh, I'll give you a, thank you. I'll give you a Jenkins sticker or something. Uh, we'll be doing a meetup. I put the link to that meetup. It would be good if we could attend. If you cannot, don't worry about it. But, uh, this does have some items towards the, uh, not only to our SIG, but it is also on the public roadmap. So it would be good to do that. Any questions, comments, concerns about the meetup that was just posted this morning? Awesome, I will move on to the next item, which is roadmap. So we had defined items that we wanted to talk about. Uh, or we put items on the roadmap that we wanted to discuss. Uh, I know, Stephen, you are doing the templating engine and you've put that on the roadmap. I am going to be doing, I believe, the, the IDE, so better syntax uh, highlighting in the I IDE, and I'm gonna start with VS Code first. Uh, I have an issue. If there are other items that we'd like to put on the roadmap, we really need uh, to create Jira stories. So that was really about this, is if you have not created a Jira story for something that you'd like to be put on the roadmap, please do so. Any questions about that? So we, um, I think we probably need to figure out um, how we can go about breaking these down in, into like actionable tasks. Right, so I, you know, it would be nice if we could figure out a high-level epic per SIG meeting to give us some some agenda for the next month or so. Um, mm -hmm. But with, I think it might be easier to start threads on the either the developer mailing list or whatever, so we can do this a little more asynchronously to see if we can engage more of the community. And then in these SIG meetings, maybe we can just go over the threads and start turning those into actionable tasks. Um, but I think it's been in our backlog for a while to start turning these roadmap items. Um, so I don't, I don't think the three of us on this call right now should, should try to decompose this, but maybe we can kick off some threads. And then the next okay. time we meet, review some of that conversation or something. Um, uh, I am making a note right now. I will, I'll start off a thread for the IDE. And if you want to start off one for the templating engine, we could just start getting the discussion and then uh, I can go through and collect those for next meeting and add them to the uh, agenda. Would that we can do that. Good? I'll take, yeah, and I'll take a look at the, the roadmap and all the items we have there. And maybe I'll just like create a Well, no, I'm taking them off. Each. Oh, the items okay. that we did have in the roadmap, I took off because they were not well defined. 
as all of the way Oleg has okay. everything else on the roadmap really well defined and there's a story behind it and uh, those were they were not really well defined so the idea here is is that I think we should start the thread and then start to really fill in the items in the road uh, not, excuse me in the, the Jira story to break it out because that's what we really need to do is a have the discussion start building out the tasks that you know link to the story and the story is in the roadmap and there's a full lineage of, of the way to see that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I will start one on uh, IDE. And I will add a note here. Okay, that, that, does anybody else have any other questions in regards to that? Okay, too easy. We can move on to the next, which is Google Season of Docs. And Mark, this was your item. Would you like to speak to it? Sure, this is a reminder that July 9th, so just six days from now, is the project proposal deadline for Google Season of Docs efforts. We've been accepted to Google Season of Docs. It's an invitation from Google, funded by Google, for technical writers to get involved with open source projects, even if they've never had prior open source experience. We have right now six proposals received, and Google approved us for one slot. So we'll, we, we'll have one. We may ask for two. Uh, the crucial thing right now that we need is mentors. And that's why I'm here is we're looking for mentors and reminding people that that mentors need to be skilled in Jenkins. Uh, user skills, administrator skills, pipeline skills, they do not necessarily need to be skilled writers. Uh, so we're looking How for mentors. How many mentors do you have? We have two right now and we want two per project. Uh, as a follow on to Google Season of Docs, we hope to also run a community bridge documentation project. So we would reuse those same, reuse a new set of any extra mentors on the community bridge project. So that's really all I had was a shameless plug, encouraging people to come help us as mentors. Uh, the time commitment is significant. Uh, it really is four to eight hours a week uh, for a period of 10 weeks. So don't underestimate the time commitment in offering to become a mentor. And that's it for me. Thanks, Marky, for letting me take the time. You are most welcome. Uh, have you put anything out to the mailing list? Like, I have. like sort of call to action? Yeah, okay. I, well, to the docs mailing list, to the user mailing list, no, to the docs user mailing list and the dev mailing list. Uh, and as we get closer, I'll put additional requests out. I'll probably also start targeting very specific people based on topics we have in the, in the proposals because some of the proposals are focused on a specific area where we may need a unique set of skills. Okay. Are you open to having, I have a particular person in mind, but this person does not know Jenkins, but is a experienced technical writer or does that probably doesn't help? You really need a mentor that has more Jenkins experience. Yeah, so the mentoring role really needs people with Jenkins experience. The writing Got it. being done by the person who is the writer, the writer actually does not specifically need Jenkins experience. That's what we rely on the mentors for. So the mentoring okay. task is really a Jenkins skilled person, not a writing skilled person. Okay, awesome. Okay, that, that settles that. Okay. Anything else in regards to the Google season of docs? Nothing from me. Thanks for asking. Awesome. Well, that is it for the end of the uh, items to discuss. Does anybody have any 
open items they would like to discuss, not on the agenda. 15 minute meeting, it's like a stand up, I like it. Awesome, well if nobody has anything else, we will conclude this meeting and give you back 45 minutes of your pre 4th of July weekend. Everybody be safe, uh, be happy. Remember, if you're lighting fireworks, hand sanitizer and fireworks don't go together. Just saying. Cheers, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.